if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a figure there that we are told to what to reproduce now that figure are two pipes that are fitting together and we are told to look for what for the curve of intersection of the two pipes when two pipes coming together they are merging that is one vertical pipe which is a cylinder is merging and horizontal horizontal word cylinder they are intersecting horizontally the way you can see in the figure is that the case so we are told to reproduce that figure at the right hand side and also we should draw the interpenetrating arc between this point and this point on the diagram so the first thing you have to do is to redraw the what the figure so it's always good for you to start from the plan now where is the plan the plan is the figure under that is this you're looking at this is the plan why this is the elevation so we want to reproduce this figure this is what we are going to do so in drawing the plan i'll just take my um C square and i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way you can see that now i'm going to pick a point let's say this point i want it to pass through this point here you can see that so i'm going to take my C square and i'm going to draw a vertical line this way placing it on my C square this way so i'm going to draw a vertical line this way you can see that so they are meeting at this point now the next thing is if you look at the plan closely you discover that the diameter of the plan is 50 so i basically need 25 millimeter radius in order to draw that circle so if i place it this way from zero to this point is 25 right i'll place it at the center here then i'm going to draw I'll arc a circle and I'm going to thicken the circle in this manner. You can see that? So that is the circle. Let me complete this. So that's the circle that we have. Is that okay? Now the next thing is we have to draw the other circle that is coming in the other cylinder that is coming in so from the center which is this point here i'm going to measure 50 right so measure 50 from the center this way from zero to 50 right from that point i'm going to draw a vertical line there so on that vertical line, I'm going to measure 20 of 20. The reason is that the thickness of this cylinder here is what? It's 40. So I'm going to measure 20 for my meter rule. This way. 0 to 2 is 20. And I'm going to place it at this point here. I'm going to mark up 20 then what down 20 that is why i'll take my c square or my rule and project this point straight down to touch the circumference of the circle i'll come here also take this down to what to touch the circumference of the circle then i'm going to close it up so closing it up this way you can see that now we have um, successfully drawn this the next thing we are going to draw now is the what? It is the elevation. Now I'm going to project this point, the the circumference of the circle, where this point meets this point and this point. I'm going to project them up. The reason is that the base of the elevation. Is the same distance as the diameter of what the circle that is why I am doing this so that means at any given point I'll just connect here to here sticking it from here to here it can be at any height it can be higher than this it can be here you draw your line anywhere depending on you so 
from here to here, I'll thicken it, which is from here to here in my diagram. Now we're given that the height is given to be what? 90. So from here to here, it's given as what? 90. So from this base here, I'll measure 90. From 0 to 90, it's somewhere around here. Can you see that? So I'll just thicken it. I just with the help of my metal rule, I'll just trace it up to this point. And I'm going to thicken it. There's the 90 we have. Now the next thing is can also extend here too, but with my faint line. So that I can easily join this point to this point. You can see that? Now the next thing that I am going to do is that the ceiling that you can see from here is 45 millimeter away from the base. This is the base here. So I'm going to measure 45 millimeter to get the center of what? Of the cylinder that is penetrating this, uh, the other cylinder that's penetrating the vertical cylinder. So I'll measure 45. So let's do that and see. So from this point, this is uh, zero. Right, this is zero. This is 40, and this is 45 here. You can see that? So at that point, I'm going to draw a center line this way. That again. Now on that line, I'll just take my compass and my just because it's the same figure. So let me just measure 25. Whatever distance is here will be the same distance here too. Up and what and down. So I'll just elongate it outward. So trace this because it's the same distance from this point. I'll just trace it out this way. Which I can join this to this. So you now join this to this. And I'll close them up just like in the diagram. And also here up. Now you can see what I've done. Now we've successfully reproduced the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. Now the next thing is for me to draw the curve of intersection between these two points. We we'll call it the interpenetrating arc. Now what I'm going to do is close to it. I will draw a vertical line this way. And also here too. You see? Now, I will not take the distance of this point. I will place it here. And I will draw a semicircle. Faint line. I will come here also. I will also draw a semicircle too. You see that now my semicircle I have to divide it into six. So I will divide it into six. I'll place it here. I'll strike an arc up and down. You can see that. And I'll place it here also. I'll strike another arc at this point. Place it here also. I'll strike another arc at this point. I'm going to replicate the same thing at this distance here. I'm going to replicate the same thing at this point here. So with the same radius from this point to this point, I'll place it here. I'll strike an arc up and down. I'll place it here. I'll strike another arc here. And at this point, I'll strike another arc here. Alright. 
so in doing that i'll start naming so if here is my point a here is b if here is my point a here is b here is c here is d here will be c here will be b and here will be what a so it increases to the highest and go back to what to the lowest right now if here is d right so the horizontal here will be the vertical here so we have d we have uh, we have c we have b and we have a so a b c d and also we have a b c d all together now so i'm going to use my meter rule now connect this point to the center here Connect this point to the center here, and also this point to the center here. I see that now after you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is this you're going to project all these points towards what towards the center like i'll project this let's start with this is point d touching here then this is also point d the two point d is on the same point so i'm going to project them upward since they're on the same point you can see this is d and this is d so I'll move them to go and meet the paint line. So this is the first point, and that is point D. Right? Similarly, I'm going to project for C. Project point C to touch the circumference this way, and also here also to touch the circumference this way. Is that the game? And also, I'm going to project point C also here, this is point C2, project it around here, and also project it around here, you can see that, then point C, they are on the same point, you can see that, this point C and this also point C, so I'll just take them up, hope you can see that, so I'll just draw it, C meeting C. So C is meeting C at this point. This is also another point C. And C is meeting C at this point, another word, point C. You can see that. Now the next thing is I'll project B also to this point to touch circumference. And also B also from this point to touch circumference. Now also this B2. I'll project it to come here and also project this B also to come here. Then the one from the plan, which is B and B, I'll project them upward. You can see that? So B is meeting B here and here. So this B, B is meeting B at this point. And B is meeting B at this point. Then for that of A, this is A here at this point. So A is moving, A meets A here, and also A meets A here. So this is the point we are going to join together. So you can use your French curve to connect these three points together this way. Right? So you can use your French curve and connect those points together. So this is what we call the curve of what? Curve of intersection, or you call it the interpenetrating arc. So when you join two pipes together horizontally, this is how you can fit them together. Is that taking now? So if you have um, 
found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching